Hey everyone, Argolfump here, playing Agatha Christie, Evil Under the Sun. Just kidding, it's actually the sixth Phoenix Wright game. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. In this video, I'll begin case number two. This case stars Apollo Justice, who is Phoenix's apprentice. At one point, Apollo tried to take over the series and become the main character, but then Phoenix slapped him back into place. Ever since then, people like to make fun of Apollo for, for not being super well-developed or good. Poor Apollo. Apollo does tend to get overshadowed by other people, which kind of happens here in Episode 2, The Magical Turnabout. He will be overshadowed by Trucy Wright, the Magician. This is her. Trucy is Phoenix's adopted daughter, and she's good friends with Apollo. Probably the only person who likes hanging out with him. Yeah, poor Apollo. Yay! So right now, Trucy is putting on a giant magical play. Yeah, it was a pretty cool magic trick. That hat just grew to super, super large sizes. If you didn't play Apollo Justice's game, uh, they really went into that I in that game. Uh, Trucy's parents are, are the Grammaries, so they, they were both part of this magician act. And uh, the rights to the magical acts have been locked up until, until just now, when Trucy came of age. Ah, uh, but I am getting way ahead of myself. We need to introduce these characters. Okay, let me get my Apollo Justice voice ready. <clears throat> my name is Apollo Justice. I'm a rookie lawyer with, with only about two years of experience. Yeah, you think that experience would count for something, but it doesn't. Oh, oh I'm so sad now. Anyway, uh, Phoenix, my boss Phoenix is on a trip, so he left me with babysitting duty. Again! Athena Sykes. She's another member of the law offices, and and she's a she's a lawyer, and she's really really good with emotions. That is Athena's deal. She has super strong hearing, and she can analyze people's emotions with her widget gadget that she's got around her neck. I suppose that will have to serve as an introduction to our characters for now. Let's go backstage and meet with Trucy. Check in with her, see how she's doing.
Okay, so Trucy is signing autographs. Wait, that's not... That looks like some sort of contract. Trucy, you live with lawyers. Don't you know you need lawyers to review every single legal contract you sign ahead of time? Yeah, we're really loving the show so far, Trucy. You're doing a good job. Whoa! Okay, yeah! She's gonna be famous with her magic show on TV. You know, a made-for-TV special? Nice. <laughs> Aw, Paula wants her autograph. Hey, hey, hands off my forehead! Hey, hands off my giant forehead! Oh, and this is Trucy Wright. She's, she's Mr. Wright's daughter. She's becoming pretty famous. More famous than I am. Aww. Oh yeah, and Trucy's favorite magic trick is called the magic panties. Ah, oh, come on, Apollo. We make fun of you because, well, out of everybody else, you're the one that's most fun to make fun of. It's just fun to tease you, Apollo. That's all. Nobody, nobody else has such over-the-top reactions. And check out the bottom screen here. We've got a, a couple of icons here, like examine will allow us to examine things. We can't use it right now because we just started the case. Uh, present allows us to present things, like the attorney's badge. That's the only thing we have. No, no, don't make my badge disappear! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Uh, the final thing we have on the bottom screen is talk. Later on we'll have a move button which will let us to move which will allow us to move from location to location, like it will let us move from the backstage to the main stage to, to uh, the law offices, places like that. And with talk, you can talk to somebody about three different topics, just, just uh, select talk and then the topic you want to talk about. Again, because we're just starting investigation and learning how this works, we only have one thing we can talk about. So let's talk about the show. Yeah, that dragon was so scary, Apollo almost fell out of his seat. Hmm, ending act one with a really cool trick sounds like a good idea. You want to have a nice cliffhanger so people will stay around for act two. Ah, okay, so the show doesn't really open until tomorrow. This is just a special preview. Oh, day after tomorrow. My mistake. Tomorrow's going to be the trial. Oh, oh, whoops, oh, spoilers, spoilers. Um, don't, don't want to spoil what's going to happen next. But yeah, yeah, um, definitely day after tomorrow, we're having, we're having another play.
Mm-hmm.